solving simultaneous equation. Uh, so yeah, in simultaneous equation you have you'll have two equations. You can have two more than two equations. So here it is uh, also called simultaneous simultaneous equation of two variables. So here you've got two variables. So you'll have two equations. So basically, you have to find the value of x and y. Okay. Now there are different ways in which you can solve simultaneous equation. So before we start simultaneous equation, let me write some equation of numbers and exp explain what happens. So let me first uh, some simple equation in numbers that we have seen. Okay, so let us make up a equation, a simple equation, say 7 plus 5 is equal to 12. Now this is a number equation. Okay, so this is 7 plus 5 is 12 is an equation. Okay, now what happens if I double all of them? Okay, so I'm going to double. Uh, so uh, double of 4 is sorry, double of 7 is 14, double of 5 is 10, and double of 10, 12 is 24. So can I write this as an equation? So, well, yes, 14 plus 10 is equal to 24. Okay, what happens if I, uh, say, make this 3 times bigger? So, 14 times 3 is, uh, this is, 14 times 3 is 30 plus 12, which is 42. And uh, 10 times 3 is 30. And this, if you make 3 times bigger, 20 plus 20 plus 20 is 60 plus 12, which is 72. Can we write an equation? Yes, we can. So this is one thing that we, may, we are going to do in this equation. So whatever you, if you increase the whole thing by a number, you have to do uh, the same thing to all the numbers than the equation. Though you get a new, new equation, there is an equation. Now what happens if suppose I write two equations, suppose. Suppose let me make up a number, say equation, say 10 plus 8 is 18. And say 5 plus 4 is equal to 9. Okay, I have halved this. So what if, suppose this is, what if I add them? So 15, and this is 12, and this is 27. Can we write an equation? Yes, we can. So this is 15 plus 12 is equal to 27. So let me make up a new equation. We're going to use these principles in equation. That's why I'm explaining these things. Suppose, let me make up an equation, say 17 plus 3 is equal to 20. And say 10 plus 7 is equal to 17. So what if I take away? Okay, so let me take away. So 17 take away 10 is 7. 3 take away 7 is negative 4. 3 take away 7 is negative 4. And this is 20 take away 17, which is 3. So let me put a plus here. So this is 7 plus take away 4, or 7 plus minus 4 is equal to 3. And it does work. So these are the things that we are going to do in solving simultaneous equations. So uh, let me write this, equa this, th this equation first. So let me write 5x plus 7y is equal to negative 31. And I'm going to write this 2x plus 7y is equal to negative 25. This is a bit uh, tricky situation. So I want to get rid of, this method is also called elimination method. I'm going to take away, say I'll call this equation A, I'll call this equation A, just for naming equations. So this is equation B. So what I'm going to do in this step is A equation A minus equation B. So I would say like this, 5x take away 2x is 3x. This is 7y take away 7y. So 
So seven seven y take away seven y which gets cancelled. And yeah, this would be very interesting. You have to be careful. It's let me write that minus thirty one take away negative twenty five. So always good to write this like this so that you don't make silly mistakes. So it's minus thirty one take away negative twenty five, which is minus thirty one plus 25 take away negative means you're adding okay and minus 31 plus 25 is negative 6 so I have to divide both sides by 3 so 3x divided by 3 is equal to negative 6 divided by 3 so x is negative 2 we'll have to confirm this whether this answer is right so what I'm going to do is, we've got two equations, equation A and equation B. I can put this back into any of this equation. So I'm going to put this back into this equation, equation A. You can put in equation B if you want. It doesn't matter. So in place of x, I'm going to put negative 2. So let me write equation A again. So let me see that. 5x plus 7y is equal to negative 31. So in place of x, I can put negative 2. So that is 5 times negative 2 plus 7y as it is, is equal to negative 31, is equal to minus 31. So this is 5 times negative 2 is negative 10 plus 7y is equal to negative 31. So what should I do to get rid of this minus 10y? I have to add 10y to both sides. So I have to add 10y to this side. I have to add 10y to this side. Or 10 to this side, sorry. Or 10y. So what happens? This and this gets cancelled. You've got 7y is equal to minus 31 plus 10, which is minus 21. And I'm going to divide both sides by 7. So 7y divided by 7 is equal to minus 21 divided by 7. So y is equal to negative 3. So x is 3, x is negative 2. So let me write the answer. So x is negative 2 and y is negative 3. So we need to check the answer by putting this back into this equation. Okay, so x is 2. So let me highlight this if I can. Okay, so let me copy and paste it here. Okay, so it will help me to, oops, copy, oh, it's not working. Yeah, it may work. Paste, yeah, oh, no, I have to remember. Okay, don't worry. So let me, let us put this back into this equation. So we know x is negative two. What did we get? x is negative two and y is negative three. So 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 plus 7 times negative 3 is negative 21 is negative 25. So the first equation is working. So you can give yourself a smiley face. Now for the second equation, x is negative 2. 5 times negative 2 is negative 10 plus 7 times negative 3 is negative 21 which is equal to negative 31. So we are, we should be really happy. You can give yourself a star, star.